This is April the 18th, 1980.
what uh, it'll consist of. But so it'll be a wonderful song. A wonderful song. A song of the redeemed. You know, the greatest thing that I can think of tonight is to be numbered in the redeemed God. When the saints go marching the Hallelujah. If we miss that, if we miss that, we'll be sorrow of ever and ever and ever. I'd love to be numbered with the people of God. I'd love to be numbered with them here. I'd love to be worthy. Many times we feel our unworthiness and our littleness in the sight of God and in the sight of God's children. But I would love to be worthy to be numbered with God's people now and especially when that great day comes. It's a good way to serve God. It's not really a hard way, but it is a careful way. It's a tedious, it's a tedious thing. The Bible teaches us to be careful from that. Sound like we can miss it so easy, and we can, I can, you can. So easy, we can miss it. So I know that we're going to have to be careful how we live, what we do in this world. In the 18th chapter of the book of Matthew, it seemed like it was a little hard to just know what to read tonight in the service but there's some scripture that has been on my mind for some time and so we might just read it here in this service tonight in the 18th chapter of the book of Matthew and I think it's a wonderful lesson if we can all just apply to our hearts and really get the real meaning of it, it's a, it, it would be no doubt a help to me and maybe to all of us. In the 18th chapter of the book of Matthew, at the same time came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of God? And Jesus called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them. And said, Verily I say unto you, Except you be converted and become as little children, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Now, really, you'd hardly think that this existed among the disciples uh, of the Lord back in Christ's time. It, it don't seem like that it would, but seemingly it did. Uh, the question, who is the greatest in the kingdom of God? It don't seem like that would have bothered them, does it? Really, who would be the greatest? And it shouldn't bother people today, should we? But somehow in the world tonight, there has got a spirit out there in the world of people wanting greater, the greatest position. And people will run and look like do everything they can in the world to get the greatest position. It always made me feel bad, you know, to hear somebody running for office and they 
down in their opponents and getting up everything they can, you know, to make it look bad on the other man that's running. That would just really, if I was a voter, it wouldn't encourage me to vote for somebody that would just, you know, down in the, the other man that was in the race too. He's in the race too. By trying to run, amen, but uh, here it looked like this attitude had got among the disciples who is the greatest in the kingdom of God. And there's another scripture in connection with this said, and there was also a strife among them. Who or which of them should be accounted the greatest? Really, as I said, I just can't hardly uh, understand that it just lets us know that we are all flesh. And the devil that lives tonight lived in that day. Amen. It lets us know that, don't it? But they had to come a strife among them. Who would be the greatest in the kingdom of God? Well, as long as we pray that real good, and as long as we stay on one as the Lord wants us to, I don't think that'll bother us, do you? I really don't. Amen. I don't think that any of us are bothered with that. Especially if we stay prayed up. But now I can't say that we don't stay prayed through real good. That same enemy, that same Satan, that as good as I think the disciples of Christ were, and that same one that slipped in among them. Amen, and wanted Jesus to tell them or point out who's the greatest among us. Yes, who's the greatest among us? Amen. I'm thanking the boss that I hear tonight. Yes, yes. The saints of God that I feel that are humble and are sincere. Amen. But I, it looked like it ought to be on a father that we think who would be the greatest among us. Amen. And then I thought, wouldn't it be a foolish thing of me tonight to think that I was the greatest preacher among the holiness band? Wouldn't that be a foolish thought? Amen. It would be very foolish. I know that is an answer. I know better than that. Amen. But for the devil to slip in on me and give me the feeling like and expect him the folks to feel like Amen. that I was the best preacher Amen. and going among the holiness folk. Amen. I certainly don't feel that way. And I don't want to ever feel that way. Amen. <laughs> hey, but you know, uh, it could be possible if I got uh, lifted up and I failed to pray. Amen. Hey, and I got to thinking, well, maybe I am. Maybe I am a uh, better preacher than somebody else. Maybe I am a living better. Uh, and I know, I know better than that. Amen. But maybe I am more humble than somebody else. They, they don't seem like they as humble as I am. Now, now that wouldn't be the right way to feel, would it? If I wasn't careful, I could be proud because I saw them. That wouldn't be right, would it? To take pride. Amen. And thinking that I was the most humble among all of the holiest preachers. But, and I said, that ain't about me because I know better than that. But among the disciples of the dawn, the devil slipped in and got in the water. I don't know who asked this question among them. I don't know who it was. But said, Jesus, tell us who's the greatest among us. But did you know that spirit is in the world? Did you know it's creeping in 
among the holiness ranks. Amen. Did you know there's a jealousy among holiness preachers across the country? Amen. Did you know actually that we ain't careful? Amen. To build ourselves up, we think we have to tie somebody Bless else down. Bless you.
position has I don't, I don't think they could enjoy it. I don't see how they could. Amen. If you could have somebody keep.